final uh, international question, and this incidentally was the most popular question, and I think it actually ties in some of the early things we talked about the economy. If, if Britain is making financial cuts, why are we still fighting in Afghanistan? Shouldn't we be making Britain safe first? The argument being that if there's money uh, to spend on wars, then why are people back home, uh, to use this phrase, suffering from financial cuts? Well, my argument would be that what we're doing in Afghanistan is about making Britain safe. I mean, we have to remember uh, what Afghanistan was uh, under the Taliban. It was a state that gave a home to Al-Qaeda and to terrorist training camps, and from those training camps came many people, including, regrettably, British citizens who went out and trained there, who have then committed atrocities and terrorist acts across the world, including uh, in the UK. So the reason for being in Afghanistan, it's not some uh, neo-colonial attempt to change that country. It's very pure and simple. We want an Afghanistan that is able to take co control of its own security and its own safety without the need for British troops, but that does not have terrorist training camps that threaten the UK. That is our aim. It's no more than that. We want Afghanistan to be run by the Afghans for the Afghans. That is, it's as simple as that. So to answer that question, it's worth the money? It's worth it is, I'm afraid it is. It is obviously an expensive and difficult endeavor, and we have given uh, a huge amount in terms of the lives of our soldiers who've been lof lost in Afghanistan. I'm acutely conscious of that and the extraordinary sacrifices that our armed services make every day while they are there. I don't want them to be there one day longer than is necessary. And as soon as Afghanistan is capable of taking care of its own security with its own army, its own police force, then those British soldiers will come home.